That's the plan, Streetwise. Oh god, Ryu's on fire. That makes no that picture makes no sense. It's Ken that has the flaming dragon punch. Whatever. So of course hyper fighting was a uh, was an upgrade that was that mostly like was Capcom USA's idea. They had to uh, they had to struggle to get Japan on board with it. Japan didn't like the idea of like speeding up the gameplay. But basically they wanted to uh, to release an upgrade kit before uh, uh, they wanted to release an upgrade kit for this because of the whole uh, the whole bootleg thing that was going on. Which we're definitely gonna talk about here. I know who I'm gonna pick here. Let's try Zangief. Zangief's pretty good in this game. Although Mame is like kinda fucked. I think Mame is running this too fast. Because this is not the... I thought they fixed it, but this game still feels too fast. Yeah, James Goddard was the uh, the main guy pitching it, and... He was apparently a Zangief player, and, like, pushed for Zangief buffs. Oh my god, I can't do the 360. Oh god. Too fast. So, of course, what happened after uh, after Champion Edition came out was there were a lot of bootlegs. Uh, companies in like Taiwan and other companies were uh, were bootlegging Champion Edition boards and like. Uh, Hacking them, adding in adding in new features like making it so that when you do a dragon punch, you throw fireballs out, putting in air moves and shit like that. And they were pretty hilarious. They were pretty hilarious to play once, but these bootlegs were were no good for serious competition. It's bad enough when when some some dickhead guile player in World Warrior like handcuffs you and does a magic throw and shit like that. But now, like, everybody could just, uh, you know, fill the screen with sonic booms and make it so there's nothing you could do about it. And my local arcade did get, uh, did get, like, at least, at least two or three different bootlegs. Like, there were, there were different boards where, like, different, different stuff would happen in each one. And they were fun to fuck around with for a little bit. But I feel like, uh, They were... they did a lot of damage to the, the Street Fighter 2 name, I, I feel like. Just because, like, if arcades, like, replace their Champion Edition boards with the, uh, the bootlegs... It'd be fun for a little bit, but... You know, the... Over time, people would just stop caring. Like, basically, Street Fighter 2 was super popular when it first started. When World Warrior came out. Still pretty popular when Champion Edition came out. And then there were, there were like, three things that kind of, uh, I think did damage to the Street Fighter name. The first was the bootlegs. Obviously. I shouldn't say it does damage to the Street Fighter name, but just made it less popular to play in arcades. The second, of course, was... You know, there was a pretty good version that came out on the, the Super Nintendo in, like, the, the summer of 92. And when that came out, there was, you know, less incentive to go to the arcade, because you could just play at home. You'd have to play on those, those stupid Super Nintendo controllers that were not... Not really the best way to play a six-button game, but... It was a lot cheaper. 
And then, yeah, the third thing was also in the summer of 92. That's when, that's when Mortal Kombat came out, and that game kind of stole Street Fighter's Thunder in the, in the U.S. And when this game, when Hyper Fighting came out, I know some places were still, like, really, really into it. Like, there were still people that were like, oh man, this is, this is cool. But where I lived, it felt like, uh, nobody, nobody really cared. It was like, it's an, it's another version of Street Fighter 2, but you can't, uh, you can't fill a screen with fireballs like you can in the other bootlegs. And people weren't really interested in, like, I guess, playing it competitively. People just kind of moved on to Mortal Kombat. Stick throws. Win. Yeah, the game's going so fast, it didn't even say Zangief win. It just said win. I thought they fixed this at, at one point, like the, the speed, but... Either I'm mistaken, or this is another MAME regression. Yeah, maybe I should have played this in Final Burn Neo. Oh man, Blanca is so good in this game. Yeah, I think I saw that, that background glitch you were talking about. Yeah, that, that vertical ball of Blanca's is like, it's active on the entire way down. They nerfed the shit out of that move in the future. Make sure it's never that good again. Whatever, I'll keep playing. Consider this a, a challenge. Look how fast those numbers are going. So, wah -wah. Oh man, this is always a hard matchup. Unless I can, oh, no I can. That was a dizzy! It doesn't really matter if MK1 played like a dumpster fire. It was it was a big deal at the time, just because the digitized graphics, the fatalities. And I played it. Yeah, there's, uh, of course there's score world records for Street Fighter 2. You really do not want to play World Warrior for score. Unless you really like doing draw battles. I can't get in. I'm not even using Zangief's kick lariat. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, Zangief can move forward when he's doing the Lariat. He couldn't in the original word, World Warrior. They buffed that in Champion Edition. And gave it a, a frame at the beginning where it hits like that. So you can use it as an anti-air. Glad to be dizzy. I don't know if Hyper Fighting's reputation and Hyper Fighting, like, it always had, like, a hardcore following. I don't know if 30th Anniversary, like, actually improved anything for it. 
But there's always been, there's been like, some people that, that have always preferred it. I know this got a, uh, it got an online version on the Xbox 360, but the, uh, the net play wasn't good. That didn't stop some people, though. But yeah, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the OGs in the, uh, in the news group days really liked hyper fighting. Some people prefer this to Super Turbo just because, you know, it doesn't have a super meter. And this game is generally considered, like, more playable than, than Champion Edition. I mean, you can, you can go on Fight K2 and, and find people to play in this. Although there's more people in the Champion Edition room, which is weird. I know... I know Champion Edition's always had a, uh... God. Balrog, what are you doing? Oh, God. He's trying to grab... Yeah, they love Champion Edition in Korea. That was, like, one of the... One of the first streams I can remember watching, like, before... Before Twitch and Justin TV were a thing, there was a, an arcade in Korea that would stream Champion Edition all the time. This was back in, like, 2008. 2007. Oh god. I cannot react to these jumps! There we go. <laughs> can I Larry at this? Yes, I can. There we go. Oh, he got away. He still doesn't like the, the stand block and wake up. He always tries to jump away. Uh-oh. He's going in. Or he backflips. Win. Yeah, I mean, everybody's experience with these games is going to be different in regards to, like, how big they were in arcades, but... I felt like hyper fighting like just kinda just kinda came and went here without much of a blip. And by here I mean South Texas where I lived at the time. I'm not there anymore. Ah! Win. Of course, there were. Yeah, this got a uh, a Super Nintendo and Genesis version too, so a lot of people played that too. Oh, too far. So, uh, please, tie uppercut. Tie uppercut. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> He's going ham. Alright. Oh, that doesn't dizzy. There we go. No, I missed! It's too fast! Oh, god. Oh, that light speed. Oh my god! Fucking up my no rounds lost! It's too fast! so fast. Yeah, I should have played it on, on a different emulator. This is all fucked up in MAME. Oh well. Also, yeah, Bison got, got nerfed hardcore in this.
even though that Psycho Crusher is going pretty fast when the computer's using it, they toned down the, the number of hits on block by, like, a lot. Like, it can't do five or six hits on block. It'll do, like, two, max. Maybe three, if you're lucky. Yeah, this is the uh, the first ending I ever, like, saw somebody get. And I figured Gorbachev would come out for, for everybody's ending. I didn't realize everybody had a different ending. Oh man, even this is sped up. Keeps me in shape, come on! I didn't realize they, they sped up the endings too. Oh yeah, this is new. They put in the, uh, the winner's podium. The winner's circle. button. Zoom! Hey, the collision didn't break. Super cheap Joe. Hope you read all that. Yeah, if you if you finish with no rounds lost, there's a uh, There's a there's a much longer ending of like every character breaking a box with a with a special move, and good faces come out of the boxes, the same good faces that were in the the No Rounds Lost ending for World Warrior. CPS-1 era. 